Yo, what's up? It's Big Lou, and I'm breaking down how I make samples for Gunner. It's just a quick preview of what the sample sounds like. So that's pretty much it. I started off with this starter from Off and Out, and this is just what it sounds like by itself. And for the only effects I have to it is this a guitar rig. I don't know what preset I use, but yeah. And I turned it down to like 30%. This delay and this sketch cassette, as well as this EQ to take out some of the lows. And after that, I got this pad, and the pad is this Eli Ting preset. And this is what the pad sounds like by itself. Just copying the guitar chords, just like, just played at different times, and this one's a bit offset to add like some bounce, and the only effects I added to this was this effect track preset, the liquid vibe preset. And I panned this one and sang the guitar to the left, just to make sure everything's not like, dead straight in the middle. And for the next sound, I use this piano, the facing up to you piano, and this is just what it sounds like by itself. It's the same chords as the pad, except it's not hitting on the one, it's like offset to add more bounce and stuff. And the only effect is this because sketch is set with a gentle modulation preset and I tweaked a couple settings and then I added this bass I'm pretty sure it's just a one shot and this is what the bass sounds like by itself And I'm pretty sure there's no effects on the bass. Yeah, there's no effects on the bass. And then I added this vocal. This sort of vocal sounds like dry. And what I did with the vocal, I pitched it out one to make sure it was in key. And then I added my vocal preset, which consists of an effect track, the vocal doubler preset, an EQ, do this EQ, uh, another effect track with the vocal color slap, and another effect track with the super compressed double, and then another EQ with this EQ. A pancake to make it go left and right and then just like a side chain a kickstart to make it like side chain and this is what all those sounds like together And then after that I wanted to use a, like a drum loop to add like some more bounce and these are the two drum loops that I use. And yeah that's pretty much it. 
I didn't even add like an EQ or anything to it. And then I got these texture sounds and this is what the textures just sound like by themselves. Yeah, I cut out some bits just like to chop it out to add like some bounce and just like, I don't know, it just sounded nice. And then after that, bounced everything out into one WAV file. I pitched it down two, and then I added some sketch cassette, the clean and subtle preset, and then some kickstart just to add like a side chain effect. And yeah, this is the final sample. Let me know if you learned anything. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.